one of the meetings that we strongly encourage to be asynchronous as opposed to synchronous, meaning that you shouldn't all be there at the same time, you, sh you should do it basically asynchronously, is the stand-up meeting or the status meeting. Status meetings or update meetings, those should not happen with everybody being there at the same time. That's, uh, that's something that we recommend here at Fellow. And the way that you can do this, now what's really interesting is you can actually program a status meeting into Fellow and some people have been using maybe some other tools for, the, for this sort of automation, but now you can do it in Fellow. So imagine this, you have a daily standup at 9.30 a.m. And so you have a pre-meeting reminder that goes out to your Slack channel. Everybody's adding their parts and what they worked on and what their obstacles are. And, and then at the end of the day, that meeting recap goes out to the same Slack channel or by email. And so now everybody gets to see what everybody else was working on. And so you've now automated the stand-up process and you've, you've done it all in fellow. So to me, the meeting automation, one of the jobs to be done for this feature is that you can now take all of your stand-up meetings and you can automate them directly in fellow. I think that's super powerful. And make them asynchronous. Yeah, I think people love examples. And one of my favorite examples of a meeting that we do asynchronously at fellow is our weekly update. So every department updates the node with updates from marketing, sales, customer success, product. We don't have to meet in person to give those updates, but then we send a meeting recap with the notes and updates. So I think that's an awesome way to use Fellow.